everyone. How are you? I'm sorry it's taken me so long to get this, this update out. I know a lot of you have been contacting me, sending emails, commenting, asking how I'm doing. So I just wanted to say thank you for that. And I'm sorry it took me so long to get an update up to you. So the last time I updated, I had just gone in and seen the surgeon and got my initial splint taken off, got to see the incision for the first time, and since then quite a bit has happened. So about three weeks out, I got my sutures out, and in the same day I got put into a walking boot. Everything was proceeding really well. I didn't think that there were, you know, I was really optimistic that everything was going in the right direction until about a week and a half out in the walking boot where I noticed that the incision just wasn't closing up in one particular area. There was persistent rubbing from the boot right on the back of that incision in, in one particular spot that was about two inches long and it just wasn't allowing that incision to close the way I thought it should be closing. So finally just this past Friday I made an appointment and went in to see the surgeon and it in fact was what I thought that an infection had formed beneath the skin right in that area. It was just that non-stop rubbing from the boot that kept it open for so many weeks that just allowed the infection to get in. So this has been a bit of a setback because that wound beneath the, the skin required some extra wound care over the weekend. I actually had to pack it with some gauze and by Monday we had kind of cleaned it out and removed some of the dead tissue and quite a large hole has formed right in the back of my ankle. Um, I began working with a wound specialist on Monday to do some more advanced treatments to get it to close as quickly as possible. You know, the surgeon said that right now the infection is very superficial, but if we're not aggressive with it, um, the risks are too high that it can move down into the tendon and that would be a really bad thing. So. Right now, that's my number one priority, is getting that wound to close up, and I'm told it can take anywhere from six to eight weeks. Four weeks would be extremely optimistic, so I'm just going to have to wait and see how that goes. Other than that, the tendon itself appears to be healing really well. It's not giving me any problems. Prior to having this, this issue beginning last week, physical therapy was going well, everything was advancing well. But unfortunately, that's been put on hold until we can manage the problem with the incision. So until then, it's just going to be more of the same. But I'll keep you guys updated as I know more, as I get some information. I will, again, see the doctor at the start of next week on Monday and figure out how I'm healing and how it's doing. So until then, thanks for thinking about me, and we'll talk to you guys soon.